This is Eric or Erica, our new Peugeot expert, two litre diesel, bought at auction, so we hadn't seen it before we bought. The first we saw it was yesterday when it was delivered to us. We had a little look around it when it arrived and quite impressed with uh, the condition it's in for a six and a half year old vehicle. But one of the first things we noticed was that there were instructions quite clearly on both sides as to how to open the doors. There's a slide out step which isn't that uncommon but on privately owned ones not entirely normal. And then when we had a look inside which is also pretty neat and tidy compared with others that we've seen that's the uh, the ramp that drops down the back. The the colour scheme, the head bumpers, all the grab handles made us suspect that maybe this was actually not a privately owned motability vehicle but was um, some sort of uh, health service transport vehicle and it didn't take an awful lot of research. We looked at the V5 and found that the taxation class was down as NHSV so it was an NHS vehicle. It's not been used very much in that at uh, six and a half years old it's got 18,000 miles on the clock and our plan with this is to take out all the seats inside, take out the winch, which is uh, under that seat, comes out just there. I don't think we've got any call to have a winch in here. And we will be putting in um, a sofa over there, a kitchen over here, and uh, it will become hopefully quite a, a useful vehicle small enough to be taken to uh, to the shops as a daily vehicle but big enough to be able to kip in the back. One of the reasons we bought a vehicle like this is that it's under two metres tall so it'll fit under height barriers and we are just leaving a car park with a height barrier. Uh, we're over just over 1.9 metres this is at two metres. And I don't know if you just heard that, but on the drive in it was a little bit nervous as to whether we did in fact fit, um, even though all the, the numbers suggested we would. And that little clank on the way in did make me jump. I was driving at the time, but it's just the aerial which is flexible. So yes, we do fit under a two metre barrier. And this is Mick's first time driving it, so we'll ask him, what do you think? <laughs> it's alright, but it's a Peugeot. 